Hello everyone, Samantha here with Crafty Sammy. Thanks for checking out today's video. Today I'm just going to show you and give a review of Lion Brand's Ice Cream Big Scoop in Green Tea and Parfait. These, I love these yarns. My friend went to the yarn store and she's already picking me up some more of the different colors. I did buy two in the Green Tea and two in the Parfait. However, one ball of yarn has made each of these blankets so it's really nice they come in quite a large skein or ball so you only need one to make a really good sized blanket i'll put the sizing of these blankets in the description below but they work up beautifully and the colors are so bright and vibrant this white i made using the shell a shell stitch and you can see there that it is a it's a it's a really nice size for a baby blanket and who doesn't love not needing to change balls to join in any ends and worry about weaving in any ends that's always a perk this one was done using a mini bean stitch and the colors are so fun and bright this is going to make an excellent probably baby girl blanket and I think it worked up to be a really good size to cover them either in the stroller or a carrier or to put on the ground for them to play on. And like I said, you only need one ball to make each of these, which is great. And the colors are amazing. If you haven't checked out this, this type, hop online, either on, I think on Lion Brand's website, they'll show you some of the other colors and they're, they're just amazing. And it's a pretty soft, it's a, it is a fine yarn. So the blankets do work, work up. A little bit more slowly and then with my other yarn uh, other ball of the parfait I have been working on some other items this is just a little toque and a matching little jacket now this is my first time making a jacket so this sleeve does get longer than this one because I was messing up uh, my join and these ears didn't lie flat quite like I wanted them to but still really uh, it's really cute with the, the coloring and then I just made this little toque using a pattern from Daisy Farm Crochet. The back got a little funny on me just because of how the pattern is, but the front looks really cute. And I have another, another toque going and I'm doing it in the moss stitch. I'm trying not to hide my nails because I need to be redone so bad. Um, and I still have so much of the yarn left. So you really do get quite a bit out of each ball, which is awesome because like I said you don't have to worry about joining if you're making a blanket it's nice to be able to get so many projects out of one ball so you're not worried about buying so many and then you can make a lot of little projects with it so that's really all I have to review for this yarn I highly recommend it they're like I said their colors are amazing if you can check them out in store I know Lion Brand does have a lot of patterns online this one is from, uh, I think it's from the pa original patterns from Yarn Inspirations, and I followed the video from the crochet crowd to make this and the, the little, the little toque with the ears, which I think is really cute. I'm obsessed with this coloring. I think it's it remind like the the blues and the greens just make such a nice color palette, and I'm excited to get some of the other colors. I'm just seeing to pick them up for my friend. And I'll probably make some more baby blankets with that. But I am having fun trying to expand my uh, capacities and move beyond blankets and try to do like little jackets. Um, the, the, when you make like the animals, the anarumi, I always say it wrong. And this cute, this little jacket is so cute. And it actually works together really nicely. So I'll put the link to that video in the description as well. I just need to add a little button here. And then this one is all finished. But like I said, it's... It has some imperfections like this sleeve you can tell is wider than this sleeve but other than that it did turn out really well so let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried out lion brand ice cream scoop i know i showed this in my unboxing video a little while ago and i was just waiting to get some of these pieces together to show you so how how it works up in these two colors and like i said i'm looking forward to getting the, the other colors that my friend picked up for me. So I hope this video was helpful. If you thought it, if you thought it was, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I know I haven't done any diamond painting for a while. I do need to get my diamond painting stuff organized. So I do plan on making a video about that because I have a ton of drills that need to get put away. And I do have a kit 
that I want to start working on because I do want to give it as a gift to someone. So if you're still watching and you um, are a bit more of a diamond painter, I do have some videos coming up. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. It's Wednesday here and it's our last nice day before a ton of snow. So if you're in a similar situation, hopefully you can get outside and enjoy. If not, bundle up and hopefully you can crochet. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.